Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and today more settings that we will look at. We will look at the same uh, status page for your connectivity and network and internet but with the properties tab and see what's in there. Also we will look at the data usage at the same time. So head on to your settings app by the uh, quick action center on the bottom right with all settings or to the start menu and click on the settings gear once here go to network and internet of course you're automatically at the status page well let's look at what's in properties when you're here there's a few things that you will actually uh, have in there that are is very interesting first of all a on off switch to connect automatically when in range. Why would you not want your computer to connect automatically? Well, it depends where you're connecting. When you're at home, yeah, you want to connect automatically. You, that That's fine. But when you're on public networks, I always say, you know, connect manually. So that if you don't need to use the internet, if you don't need internet at all, you're not connected to any of the public networks that could technically put you at risk sometimes. So this should be, uh, depending on the type of connectivity, on or off. So on at home is okay. Off when you're on public networks is better. So you just connect manually. Network profile. Now you have public network, you have private network. This is very important to choose well. In your home, you'll uh, technically have private network. What does that do? It opens up windows to a little more um, options. For example, sharing files between computers, um, sharing a printer, and a lot more things can be done with the um, you know networks and, and the out and in of all the data from your computer to networks and the internet. Public is very important to choose when you're in a public network. Why? It locks down windows. It prevents file sharing. It prevents printer sharing. That means it actually will make you more secure and prevent the possibility that something could go bad with hackers on a, a, a public network, for example, trying to access your personal data. So it's important to choose the correct one depending on what type of connectivity you are on. Then you have, of course, the configure firewall and security settings that you can click here. Brings you to the Windows security app. And that will, of course, uh, give you the possibility to tweak. And that we will look in a different video. Random hardware addresses. Now, this is interesting. This is something that was not there before. It I don't know what version of Windows 10 actually it appeared on. But random hardware addresses is nice because it is kind of a, pre a prevention tracker. So you have an option on, change daily, or off. What does that do? When you connect to a network, your computer is identified with uh, its hardware uh, MAC address. And of course, if you keep the same MAC address, that means that every time you connect to the network, well, the network recognizes that you've been connected in the past. They know it's the same computer. In some devices, and it's not doesn't work on every computer, by the way. It doesn't work on every type of adapter. But if it does on your adapter, what it does is it changes that to other addresses. That means you reconnect, it will have a different address, and that address, well, it won't recognize, so it doesn't know it's the same computer that's connecting again. So it kind of gives you less tracking because on public networks, one of the things they want to do is track you. They want to know that you're going from public network to public network, kind of track down a little bit, you know, your movement and where you're going. By using this, well, you can actually um, kind of prevent some of the tracking from going on. On te technically means it will actually change your a hardware address with a random uh, hardware address every time you connect to a new network and to the same network also. And daily means it just does it once a day, meaning today it will track you, but tomorrow it won't know it's you 
because there will be a new MAC address. Metered connection, which is a very useful uh, connection for several reasons. If you are, of course, on a data cap, if you can't, uh, you know, if, if your monthly internet is limited to a certain number of gigabytes, you can set your computer as a metered connection. That means when you do this uh, metered connection, you will actually be able to set data limits to help control data usage on the network, how much data you want in or out, so that you never actually uh, go overboard on your data. So you just turn this on and you set your data limits uh, on your network uh, using the data usage tab. This is going to actually give you the data limit information. You can enter limit here and you can say, okay, I have this limit of megabytes or gigabytes depending on my connection. This is monthly or one time or so on. Uh, you can choose one time, for example, if you are on the, um, if you are on a, uh, you're temporarily on, for example, your mobile network, that could be very interesting to put this uh, limit one time, for example. So you can turn this on. It also has one other effect. By setting a metered connection, it prevents everything that is a Windows update that is not security from installing on your computer. Why? Because it doesn't download it. So feature updates won't be downloaded. Optional updates won't be downloaded. Driver updates will not be downloaded. The only thing that will go through in a metered connection is security updates on Patch Tuesday. Then you have, of course, IP settings. You can edit and change the IP settings. For most people, this is automatic. But sometimes, for some reason, you might want to change all of that and have some IP uh, that is actually given to you for a specific reason for in a workplace for example or maybe you've you know secured down your router and your connections and you want to make sure that only specific machines can connect you can tweak that in the ip settings here and finally you got the properties and all the information about your connection your ip addresses and so on that are uh, on your um, connectivity uh, you will have description and manufacturer of your wireless adapter, the link speed, what speed are you connected on your network, and so on. And if you're on 5 gigahertz, 2.4, and what channel, and so on. A lot of uh, technical details in here, including your security type that is your security on your Wi-Fi. If you are on an Ethernet cable, well, some of that information is not here. It will be different. It will be a different type of information in here. But you will have a lot of that information still available on this uh, device, on the uh, information tab here. If you enjoyed my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.